Okay, so it's been a bit longer than I thought uh, between updates. Uh, I got the computer working. Well, I got a new system. The old one was pretty much completely dead. Um, so that's all up and running. Um, got some software installed that I was having some troubles with. Like um, I installed Mantis online, uh, which is a bug tracking thing. And it didn't want to install because of the database didn't want to cooperate for whatever reason, so I finally got all that um, hacked together and working. Um, been working on Team Friendship for a while, so I think last time I did a video I was on Puzzle 8 of 30, um, so now I've finally finished scripting the multiplayer part of it, um, just in Kismet and all that, which is good. So. Um, there's a few problems along the way, like some of the puzzles uh, didn't work, or the, I got through um, scripting it and realised that it could be solved in like two moves instead of two moves with one player instead of you know ten moves with four players or something like that. So um, a couple had to be redesigned, um, a couple just needed a little tweak here and there, uh, a few of them mostly work but there might be a, a bug or two here and there but it's all done and it's just um, a matter of fixing a few little things and then getting four players actually in there and playing so I can um, find any new bugs and see what's working and what's not and what's frustrating and how to fix it and that kind of thing so it's all going well like one puzzle um, Uh, which one was it? Yeah, one of them it was meant to have like four four players all working out where they need to be and what they need to do and then it turned out that one of them could just run in and press a button over here and then press a button over here and the whole path was cleared for four people and um, there's another one which I'll show some footage of in a minute which I'm, I'm really happy with. It's like a big sphere that um, is a path through all three dimensions and one player is on the sphere um, and the other three rotate the sphere 90 degrees clockwise or any clockwise on each of the three axes and I mean, it worked it turned out really well I'm happy with it but I realized all you need to do is you know get the person on the sphere and to get them to the other side of this kind of ravine just rotate it twice 90 degrees around the vertical axis and you've finished it so I need to um, work out something there to stop that but otherwise I'm really happy with that and it's just little things like that here and there for the most part it's pretty good um, and one of them which I'll, I'll show some footage of in a second as well was like these two big hammers that are rotating in opposite directions and like the hammer part is big enough for you to walk across like that's the point and you need to pause both hammers at the right time and then you go up and around and then you need to pause them both at the right time when they line up to create a bridge over here and then again over there so it's a bit of timing and all that but then it turned out you could um get on one of them and then kind of strafe or walk sideways as it as the hammer went up and around and hit 45 degrees like each side of it was 45 degrees. You could just duck over and then get onto the other side and then finish the puzzle without doing anything at about five seconds flat. So you can see when the footage I'm going to show you in that hammer bit, each of the top halves of it have like little angled lips going out. And um, that's just to stop people kind of walking because then when the paths are 45 degrees, that lip will be 90 degrees, so it'll just stop people kind of walking over the other side of it. So that turned out pretty well. Um, <laughs> just little unexpected things like that popped up all the way through, and I'm sure they will again with single player, but at least with single player, you're not trying to account for four people doing everything at the same time. Like, a lot of the problems really came in when say, uh, what was one example? Say something's moving and it'll you know move from this state to this state, and then when you finish it, it might move to some other state. What do you do if someone's 
pressed a button and it's moving and then someone presses another button and it needs to start moving again do you wait for it to finish or do you start moving it straight away and then it might be you know a few feet uh, misaligned by the time it gets there because it never finished the first move and stuff like that it's popped up here and there through multiplayer so um, I mean, it's just realizing it can happen and then scripting in a lot of checks and balances which gives me it's pretty good for I suppose any scripting thing with language or system would be good for but yeah, it wasn't too bad um, a few headaches here and there but it all worked out okay so now I just need to test it um, we'll get onto that soon um, so next I want to I need to just get into some Unreal script and script the box that I was talking about last time in the single player you're escorting a box through the whole thing and it's how do you get this box all through the game to the finish and that's the puzzle and that's what the puzzles are you know, made up of so I don't think it'll be too hard I mean I've looked at a couple of Unreal script 101 kind of tutorials and they all pretty much start with pushing a physics box around so I guess the main part then would be making sure it um, it can hit triggers and all that kind of thing just fine but I think even that's pretty much inbuilt to all the triggers so that shouldn't be a drama um, so I'll show you a bit of a few bits of footage from just a couple of the multiplayer puzzles I won't show all of them because there's about 30 of them um, but you can see just the different types of puzzles, so I'll show that now. So you can see that there's really four main types of puzzles. There's um, the like platforming, which is kind of based on timing, so you know, move quickly before you die. Um, and all, I mean, all this is still requiring four people to solve the puzzle. And then there's like platforming that's um, more just puzzle, it's not timing, just move this, you know, maybe a bridge ex you know, collapses or retracts and, or extends or whatever. And it's not so much do it quickly, it's just, oh, okay, that happened, now what do we do? Um, then there's other, one, there's other ones where it might take one person to s solve it, you know, physically, um, but it's more difficult, so you kind of need to put four heads together to, to work it out. Or, or not, and three people can just sit back if you want. Um, and then the other one is where one person kind of goes into the puzzle, like the big sphere one and some other ones, and the other three players from a distance kind of control the parts of that puzzle, so they might you know, rotate the sphere or open and close trap doors um, that the, the fourth player needs to navigate through.
So that's all. There's just some parts of the multiplayer there. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Obviously, it's white box at the moment, so it's not meant to look pretty at all. It's just meant to be rudimentary, bare bones. You know, the, all and all you need for it to work and nothing more. So there's the lighting is very temporary. Um, all the meshes are just white because it's a white box. Um, you know, there's no no pretty things. So that's cool. And but I got some ideas for the artwork and all that kind of thing. I mentioned a few of them last time, so that'll all come together. But it's not right now because you know if you put too much attention into the artwork too early on, then what should be a small change turns out to be a big change with lots of follow-on effects and it's too much of a hassle so I'll get it all working first. So now I'm going to get the box scripted for single player and get multiplayer playable by four people so I can start logging bugs and issues and getting a feel for what works and what doesn't. I think it's all pretty good but you know you can't just assume that it is. Um, and then single player should be a lot quicker than multiplayer because like I was saying I don't you can really predict where the player's going to be like if they're here you can guarantee that nobody's going to be here so in multiplayer you can't do that so it makes it a bit tricky to wrap your head around the logic of what's going on um, and then yeah should be good so I'll try and get a new video up um, quicker than this time because that was uh, there's been a lot going on and working full time and blah 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 but all is well life's good so I'll post some screenshots just here and there or even if it's not a whole blog post maybe if, if I see something interesting I'll just screen grab it and throw it up on probably just Facebook so um, I'll put a link to the Facebook page in this video or um, in, in the forum post or wherever so you can subscribe to that, that way you don't need to check back or anything, it'll just pop up in your news feed if anything interesting happens and I will keep you all updated, so hopefully um, we'll see some more and more progress happening quicker and quicker so, yeah